Good morning and welcome to exactly the same spot as I was in last week. <laughs> um, I'm further down. I haven't parked up the top this time. It's blowing a hoolie up here. Um, so I hope you enjoyed last week's video. Um, this will probably be quite a short one. What I'm going to do today is walk down into the valley. I've got, I've got, uh, <laughs> I've got this bad boy. He's ready to go. Um, so we're going to see what wildlife we can see. Hopefully some stags. They were all here last week when I didn't have the lens, which is typical. So now this week I've got the lens. They've probably all gone to Benidorm. Um, that's not true. I've already seen a small herd over here. Um, I'm going to wait for a bit more decent light. It's only it's only quarter to six, quarter to seven. Sorry, clocks have gone back. You've all probably been enjoying your Halloween parties. Um, I think those days are done for me. I'd much rather get up at four o'clock than I would go to bed at four o'clock with a stomach full of alcohol. Um, and have some breakfast, and then we'll crack on with a nice good morning walk. Cheers. So I had a couple of questions since I got the van. Do you miss the M4? Um, if, you, if you're new to the channel, um, before I got van life, I had uh, a BMW M4. Uh, stupidly fast, stupidly expensive to run. Um, and the, the main question, do I miss it? Yes, for some certain aspects of it. No, entirely. Um, I've got this van. It's a chargeable hub for all my crap that I've got on my gadgets. It's somewhere to sleep, it's somewhere to eat, um, it's somewhere to rest, and it's somewhere to sit comfortably when you've got weather outside like this and it is it's blowing a gale. It's, it's warm, um, but the, the, the wind chill factor is gonna be cold. I've got a fridge, I've got all the gadgetry for my photography in here that I need, and I can take it anywhere. Um, the road, there's some roads up on Exmoor that are, uh, are vehicle friendly, but there's some that aren't, and I've got no qualms about taking this van through those roads. Um, but the M4, you just costly mistake waiting to happen. Um, you know, it's, it's all aluminium, um, bendable, uh, it's just major repair cost. This is, this is so easy. I haven't even cleaned it since I've had it. <laughs> the outside the inside's beautifully clean um but it's never going to win a beauty contest this thing it's it's ugly as sin but i love it absolutely love it i you know i've got i've i've decked out some storage in in this one um because it was just a storage hole um so i've put some rails in there and some storage containers um i've got everything in it and it's good to go i'm always ready to go you know so no I, I entirely do not miss the M4. Teeny bit, but no. Right, so I'm back in the van. Uh, what a morning. That was near perfect. Um, <clears throat> so the other day I bought myself a uh, camouflage, um, you know, the things you can get. Uh, they're a rain jacket, but they're also a shelter, should you ever get caught. <clears throat> so I bought one of those the other day and decided to put it on <laughs> and I have got myself within 150 feet of a rut I am absolutely privileged um, I cannot believe my luck what I do is I'll put a photo up just there uh, so if you can see that the black spot is where they were and just at the bottom where the arrow is is where I was lying prone for about an hour, just watching them. Um, that 600 lens is a world of difference. The focusing is pin sharp. It's awesome. You don't have to wait for it to think like you did the Sigma had. I always said about the Sigma, it was designed for the Canon. I had the adapter for the Sony, but it was slower. If you remember my previous videos, I've always said the focusing is slower. If this is moving, it's because it's windy as shit up here and the van is getting blown about. That that Sony focuses lightning quick. 
um, what what a lens, what a purchase. Um, I've looked through the back of the camera. Some of them are awesome. I've got some of them fighting. Um, oh, brilliant. Tick that one off the bucket list. Um, job done. And there's people up here sat in their cars watching them. They're, they're still over there, but it absolutely hammered it down. And I thought it's, it's time to go now. Um, I didn't want to push my luck either. Um, although I'm camouflaged, the lens is white. I haven't got any camouflage for that yet. So I didn't want to push my luck any further because let's face it, the rutting, they'll kill you. Um, if, if they get hold of you, they'll kill you. Um, privileged, lucky, beautiful to watch. Um, yeah, I feel, uh, I feel brilliant. So this really is just a straightforward video today. Um, there's no talking down there because of my safety being so close to the rut. There's no B-roll footage because I'm trying to actually set up a camera to do B-roll footage and watch them to make sure you've not been spotted and they're charging towards you. It's not worth it. So this is straightforward, me talking in the van and a montage of clips, clips, photos of, of the rut that I've just witnessed.
thanks for watching uh give us a like subscribe and comment and i'll see you next week it's bridgewater carnival next week i don't know if you've ever heard of it i don't like it so i'll be going away for the night uh, so join me see you later